about eight, nine years ago, we had a New Year's Eve party and my friend and I built a tiki bar specifically for this, but the tiki bar didn't actually have any tikis in it because they were quite difficult to find in the UK. Um, and there's a few people selling them and there was a few imports, but I actually decided that what I wanted to do was to do my own tiki. As people showed interest, that's when I started to do them as a hobby that I could also sell some of my products on and, and make a bit of pocket money. And that's pretty much how we are today. Um, you know, it's a, it's, a ho it's a hobby job. My style of tiki originated in Americas in the mid 40s. America had a lot of troops coming back from the Pacific Islands where they'd been posted. Uh, there was obviously Hollywood was uh, focusing very much on Pacific Island culture at the time. You had a lot of prop makers, you had a lot of people interested in all these things that they could develop and make these wonderful theme bars. Most of the times when I trade, I trade at American car shows and vintage shows. Many people who I've sold to have become friends in actual fact. I've worked with a few people putting on a few shows and I really enjoy making the tiki decor for a few shows that we've done. I have a full-time job, but having something that I do myself, I'm kind of in control of it. And I do find it an escapism. This is time I really enjoy being in control of what I'm doing. I love making stuff. I've always loved making stuff. My father was actually a sculptor. He was a woodcarver, mainly birds, animals, hawks, seagulls, but I can't really level myself to his standards. He really could bring the beauty out of wood. He really did give these pieces of wood life. We're not trying to do um, fine art here. It's stuff that stands up and looks large and impressive if possible. It's primitive art and it's quite a free expression. And there's not really anybody out there to tell you that you've done it wrong or they don't tell me that I've done it wrong. I do try my best to make them look like aged artifacts. The feeling as though maybe they've been discovered somewhere and they're a big, nice backdrop. You can have them in your garden, you can have them in your house. I enjoy doing it because I just enjoy the freedom of doing it. I enjoy being in my shed as well. I like the escapism of it and I think that the people around me that are into tiki culture for the most part are what I call alternative people as well and they're kind of like, they generally have a nice outlook. They're kind of chilled. They like, they like stuff. To me it, it, it's something that's fun. <laughs>